So how much did you know about Newt Knight and the cause that he stood for before you came on board? Uh, I knew nothing about this story before I read the script and met with Gary Ross, uh, so it was very educational. <laughs> um, you know, I, re I read the script and it was so epic in scale and, um, you know, then I talked to Gary and he's so passionate about this particular era in history, so I was inspired to find out more and, you know, started reading around the period and, and the topic as much as I could. So tell us about your character, Rachel Knight, mm -hmm. and she plays quite a heavy role in, mm. in the movie, in Aid to Him. Yeah, so I play Rachel Knight, who um, is a house slave on the plantation, and uh, she uh, has some freedoms, which, uh, you know, was, was new to me. I didn't really understand, you know, the agency that some slaves actually did have in that period. She um, has... Uh, a, a, the ability to go in and out of these sort of two worlds from the plantation to uh, the swamps where the maroons are hiding out, the escaped slaves. Uh, so that was fascinating to me, the fact that she sort of, you know, was already sort of seeking out her own avenues to, to gain more freedom. Um, I also was really fascinated by her, you know, quest for literacy, how she tries to teach herself to read, which of course was an illegal act um, in, if, for any slave to even be seen to be learning to read. Uh, so yeah, she meets um, Newt Knight, played by Matthew McConaughey, uh, when she's first helping to heal their baby, and then she helps him find sanctuary in the swamp with the maroons. And then um, they fall in love, and it's sort of, you know, um, a love story alongside this sort of beautiful struggle for freedom that they go on as, uh, as they're united together to create the Free State of Jones. They've come a long way since Holby City, mm -hmm. to making Hollywood movies. What's it like working with Matthew McConaughey? What kind of actor is he on set? You know, he's a very disciplined actor, I have to say. You know, it was fascinating um, working with him because he was always incredibly focused, had done a lot of um, preparation for the character, and... Um, yeah, it was, was very, you know, it has a real intensity about his, his approach to this role, which I think is very fitting to uh, Newt, because whenever you read about him, he's always described as, you know, having this intense gaze, and it's amazing how, you know, Matthew transformed when you look at the photograph of Newt Knight, you know, in, in, at the end of the film, and you look at Matthew, you know, there is this, uh, an almost spooky resemblance there. Um, this is not a topic British people know about it. It's a civil war. We don't, we're not taught it at schools. Mm -hmm. um, Tell us, why would this movie appeal to a British audience? Well, I think the themes that are encapsulated in the movie are universal, and, and you don't have to know anything about the Civil War to appreciate the film. I certainly didn't know anything about the Civil War, and I think, you know, uh, the Civil War is really the, the starting point for the movie, and then it sort of goes into a much more uh, personal struggle um, for this sort of band of brothers of, of people that are, you know, poor white uh, farmers and, uh, you know, escaped slaves joined together. So I think, you know, that idea of people uniting from seemingly sides that you, you wouldn't think they would have anything in common, but uniting for a sort of a human cause, um, hopefully transcends any, any history. And lastly, I've got to ask you about Beauty and the Beast. I mean, Jungle Book was a huge success. And I Disney, loved the Jungle Disney, Book. It was wonderful. <laughs> My whole youth came back to life. Yeah. And Disney likes to, you know, revisit the old classics. Tell us about what can we expect from Beauty and the Beast? Well, I hope that it will be magical uh, and romantic and, you know, everything that you remember from the original and, and more. Um, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. And uh, it was a, a favorite of mine when I was a kid, too. So I was very happy to be part of living it. Living a real dream, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!